everyone, my name is Charity and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I post about faith, modesty, natural hair, nursing, and more. So if you're interested in like content, you may and you are welcome to subscribe to the channel so that you are able to receive a notification when I post content of that sort. If you've gone through my videos on this channel, you have seen that I talk about natural hair care and I also share my own natural hair care with you all. I share tips as well. And today we are going to be merging the Bible and our hair. And you might be thinking like, how does the two really come together? And it's a beautiful combination because the reality is that God is the creator of our hair. He's the one who manufactured our hair and the scriptures helps us to appreciate that fact. So today we're gonna to be looking at one specific passage in the scripture, one specific verse in the scripture. And the reason that this is actually coming up because sometime last year a subscriber um, and I hope that you're watching. Okay. A subscriber had asked if I could explain what it means for a woman's hair to be her glory. We're gonna read that scripture specifically in a little bit, but before we go to read the scripture, I wanted to actually go ahead and show you all my hair. I spritz each individual um, section with water and then I sealed it with my homemade shea butter cream. And this is something I made myself. There is cocoa butter here, shea butter here, sweet almond oil, coconut oil and I think that's it. Yeah, it's just a four ingredient hair butter and it works really well for my hair. I have some recipes on the channel here already um, and so I'll go ahead and link those in the description. And if you're wondering, I purchased this container from the dollar store, it's just a dollar. And so I think it's so cute. I get to make my own hair cream and also put it in this really nice container. And so yeah, this is what I use for my hair. So I will go ahead and show you what my hair looks like. But all I did was I did just these chunky twists and then I just braided my hair back. Let me turn around. I a great protective style. This is a style that I often do just braiding my hair from the bottom up and then just securing it um, and just keeping it away. And so now let's go to scripture. So we are going to be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 15. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. I think that the, the emphasis for the question was on that word glory. And when you think about that word glory, G-L-O-R-Y, there's a word that is derived from that word and that word is glow right g-l-o-w what does that word mean this word means to shine this word means to stand out this word glow means to exhibit a certain amount of unique beauty and the bible is saying that as a woman when you wear your hair allow it to be long and wear it long your hair essentially shines, your hair stands out, and it really manifests the beauty with which God created it. One thing that is also important to note is that here the Bible talks about a woman's hair, right? So it's talking about your God-given hair, your natural hair, the hair that God has given you that grows from your scalp. It says, if that hair is long, then it manifests glory. That is one of the reasons that I promote natural hair care, and I really encourage women to to wear their own hair and I share all these tips. When we take proper care of it, it will be long. My hair has not always been the way that it is, the length that it is right now. My hair at some point was like, it was really short. And by God's grace, with the tips that I often share with you all, bit by bit, my hair now is at my tailbone, okay? And so it is possible for you to have long hair. Your hair is an ornament. God has given you your hair, your natural hair as an ornament. It is an accessory, a thing of beauty. Typically in, in our world now, when a woman has long hair, it's attractive to men and it's also attractive to other women. It's something that is so beautiful. It's like, wow, she has such long hair. It's a thing of attraction. Essentially, when we wear our natural hair long and beautiful and we're taking care of it and it's it's flourishing it ultimately reveals the glory of God yes God has given us our hair for glory 
and it is our glory but it also reveals his glory because when we take proper care of our hair the creator also takes the credit our hair is able to reach its highest potential when we take good care of it and people see it and they're like wow that is your hair it's so beautiful the essential thing or message that i'm passing across to you today is that first of all god created your hair in fact the bible says that all of the hairs on our head are numbered like god has the knowledge of the amount of hair that you have on your head like isn't that amazing that he knows the amount of hair that he put on your head and so he is the manufacturer of your hair he cares about your hair and he's willing to help you to take care of it so that it can grow long and flourish i am here to help you as well and you can go through my previous videos and my previous content that there are a lot of tips in there that if you apply your hair will be able to grow and flourish one of the things i also want to encourage you to um, refrain from is from cutting your hair now if you are cutting your hair for the purpose of starting a new hair care journey say you have been relaxed for a long time and now you want to transition to keeping your hair natural for that purpose if you want to cut your hair that's okay because you you want to start afresh and god is so merciful that he gives us a second chance and he our hair will grow as long as we take care of it but if that is your ultimate goal for cutting your hair then please go ahead and do it get rid of the damaged hair because damaged hair is not going to help anyone and then start on a healthy hair journey and on a long hair journey trust the lord to help you you know trust him to guide you trust him to lead you to the right resources and trust him to help you to attain that long beautiful flowing hair that you so much desire and that he has created you to have don't give up on your hair continue to work on your hair continue to invest in your hair continue to um, you know seek the proper tools and techniques and tips and spend time with your hair so that you can see the results that you so much desire and so in conclusion I just want to let you know that your hair is an ornament. Your hair is a jewel. Your hair is a natural accessory that God has given to you. And just like any accessory, you know, when we dress up, we put our purses and, you know, little, little accessories here and there. And as much as we take care of those things so that we can wear them next time, take care of your hair so that it can continue to last long for you. All right. So for the subscriber who asked this question, I truly pray that you have received an answer. If there is any other questions, that you have for all of you please go ahead and leave the question in the description and by the grace of God I'll take a look at it pray on it and I believe the Lord will give me an answer to give unto you alrighty until next time ladies make sure that you are taking care of your hair you're investing in your hair you're prioritizing your hair and that you are also not forgetting God not forgetting the word of God in the process because God is the only one that can help you to achieve attain your hair's full potential. All right, until next time, talk to you later. Bye.